Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome to your update Monday 4, April the 10th of 2017. Uh, last week was pretty crazy. It was pretty fun, but it was pretty pretty crazy. This The next two weeks are going to be kind of the same amount of crazy in terms of scheduling, especially with my wife, but uh, be... So I guess, what, towards the end of April, uh, she ends one of her clients' agreements or whatever, and so she'll be home a lot more, which hopefully will mean I can get some more work done. I am still working on the historical title, and actually uh, the video that... Creative Assembly released this weekend with Darren actually gave us some more insight so I'm kind of glad I didn't wasn't on top of it like I should have been because it actually kind of I, I believe narrows down the potential for what we could be seeing here uh, in terms of the next historical title so be on the lookout for that video I'm hopefully be able to get it done in the next couple weeks I want to crank it out this week but I don't know if it's going to happen uh, on terms of scheduling in general I have a new mod coming out which I think you guys will like this does take place in Total War Warhammer instead of Total War Attila or Rome 2 but I do believe you will still enjoy it um, I'm wrapping up Northgard as well so the final episode will be coming out today I also have a Dawn of War 3 multiplayer battle that I recorded this morning uh, because the stream videos didn't work uh, they were a little bit corrupted and wouldn't work function right. And it kind of ticks me off, but that's okay. Uh, what else we got on the plate? We got a lot of stuff. I'm working on some Ancient Empires videos. I just have to get them nailed down and get precisely what I'm wanting to get to show off things correctly. Uh, and so I'm hoping those will be out. At least one of those will be out this week. Maybe one next week. Fingers crossed. Uh, we are close to 8,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. I'm super excited. I'm super, I just love growth. I mean, any channel would love growth, but it's certainly really awesome just to see you guys engaging like you have been and really just just working it, just making it work really well. I am, uh, I did want to say something. Uh, I think I'm going to take a break from streaming on YouTube. Uh, right now I use Restream, which streams to both YouTube and Twitch. I really want to start streaming on Twitch more to gain more followers. My my audience size is much smaller on Twitch than it is on YouTube. But I I really want to push that. I I was talking with my wife yesterday actually, and I'm talking of ways to diversify my revenue stream. Uh, because as you know, or maybe you don't know, I am a full-time freelance designer, uh, so I work from home full-time, and as such, income isn't steady, it's not constant, it's not guaranteed, so any, th any way that I can produce another revenue stream is something that I want to do, and so I told her one of those ways was through streaming on Twitch. If I get enough people um, that are following me, and if my audience size gets big enough, then I can get a Twitch partnership, which will allow you to subscribe, which is just a, a really positive revenue stream, and really is a good way for you guys to be engaged. Um, and so I told her that requires consistent streaming, so we're going to kind of work out a consistent stream schedule and see what we can't do. And uh, because there's a lot of things I want to stream. Strategy games, not so much. Uh, I feel like streaming on Twitch with strategy games isn't as entertaining. I feel RPG games are much more entertaining, which is a big reason why I've been streaming Shadow of Mordor and uh, Styx, Shards of Darkness on there. Because I just feel like it works a lot better. But that doesn't mean we're not going to. I do have Steel Division, Normandy 1944, if that's what it's called. Steel Division. Um, so I will be playing that with Haxo the Hunter and anyone else from the other guys who play that. So that is a very good strategy game. Obviously, I played Dawn of War 3 yesterday. But what I really want to do is get that RPG element in. So streaming Shadow of Mordor, streaming Sticks of Darkness, and definitely streaming some Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Because I'm not that great. I think right now, which is, I don't know how many people there are on the North America server, but I'm in the top 40,000 which again isn't super fantastic but I'm consistently you know in the top 30 every game and it's just because I don't go out and seek people which works for me and so uh, definitely want to keep streaming and build up my audience but I want to build it on Twitch and I'm not trying to do this to try and sound greedy because it sounds really greedy but YouTube gaming I don't think really has that functionality I mean sure you have your subscribers you have people who are more willing to watch stuff on YouTube gaming but again it's that whole 
diversifying my revenue stream. So that also will include, um, so I'll have Twitch hopefully here in the future. Uh, there is something that's kind of like a Patreon for Twitch uh, to where you don't have to have that subscribe button, but if they give you two, three dollars a month or whatever, you can let them have access to stuff. It's basically Patreon for Twitch. And so I'm considering doing that. And then I have Patreon, which I'm hoping that I'll get some Patreon soon to be really, really nice. Uh, there is also merchandising. I'm going to start merchandising uh, stuff. So, you know, mugs, t shirts, things of that nature with my logo on it. Uh, I'm going to be working again on my Steam group. And using my Steam group will hopefully have a pretty cool logo, which will encourage people to want merchandise for it. Kind of a deal. I just need to find more ways to not be so dependent on YouTube for revenue because that's not a whole lot. And there's a lot of things that I can do where I do something once and kind of continually make revenue off of it, if that makes sense. You know, for instance, like Patreon, you will support me and you will get cool access to stuff, but it is kind of a one time deal. Uh, for instance, if you do like the higher one of the higher tiers, I'll buy a game that you want me to do, and then I'll do a let's play on it, giving you full credit, things like that. And uh, but that is kind of a one-time deal, unless someone's been subscribed for a long time, in which case I'll do another one with them. You know, I just really want to create that engagement, and that's what I think merchandising does. That's what I think Patreon does, and certainly that Twitch subscriber uh, button. But again, I have to get on average like 500 people a stream and I have to stream consistently three times a week to even think about applying for a partnership with Twitch so we'll just have to see uh, but yeah definitely doing well in all other areas uh, designs picking up like it always will and always is going to be it's gonna be busy in the spring summer and fall and we'll die down in winter that's just how the industry works but so definitely we'll be picking it up there I mean I'm, I'm really I'm really happy with life right now Sure, it's a little uncertain, and like I said, it's not guaranteed, uh, but I'm enjoying it. Freelancing is an unreal experience. Working from home, being able to be with my wife and kids all the time is, is what I've always wanted secretly. Not even secretly, my wife very publicly knew that I wanted to be home with them all the time. Uh, so working a corporate job 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, just sucked balls. I hated it. So just to be able to do this and from you guys supporting me from watching my channel and subscribing to the channel to help it grow, you are helping me fulfill my dream. And I just want you guys to know that if I ever seem unappreciative of you guys, then that's certainly not my intent. It may have been a bad day or whatever, but I am 100% supportive and appreciative of you guys because you're helping me live my dream. And while I'm not making a whole bunch from YouTube, it is still something which is more than nothing and is definitely helping fill the gaps in, uh, in my expenses and for income. So again, I really appreciate you guys and I don't want you to ever think that I don't. Um, there are a bunch of other videos I want to make. I just have to find time and I, I, I don't want to say I'm going to cancel any. I just need to consolidate. North Guard, I'm going to take a break from North Guard for a while so it's completely off of my plate. Um, obviously, I'll have those mod spotlights. I need to start getting back into custom battles uh, with the Medieval Kingdoms, Seven Kingdoms, and the Ancient Empires. Uh, and then, for those of you, I've seen some pretty nasty comments about Ancient Empires, and I understand. They gave that release date for all of us to, to announce, and they shouldn't have, and they've learned from their mistake. And no matter how close they're going to get, until it is 100% ready, they're not going to give an announcement date. Uh, so I want to let you guys know that the Ancient Empires mod is still alive. Whether you believe me or not, I don't care. Because I know what it is, because I talk to Patilius all the time about it, and it's going to be it's gonna be great. It's going to be a really, really good, just in-depth thing. And once that mod releases it's gonna be updated continually because there's a lot of things that they're not gonna be able to have at release that they're going to be put into at later dates and it's unbelievable guys it's gonna be a very difficult campaign it's gonna be very in-depth but it will be amazing 
So that's it, guys. I just want to let you know that I appreciate you, and thank you for all the love and support on the channel. Almost at 8,000 subscribers, so we are over halfway to the yearly goal. It is April now, so we're going to have to start booking it for sure. But I think between Ancient Empires and some other games that will come out this year, it will definitely boost me. If you guys like this video, as always, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Check out my Patreon. And this is Havoc. I'm out of here. Peace.